Ooh, down loads of TV against elves. But at least it's elves, I guess. Pro elves are almost, almost as bad as Brett's, aren't they, really? <laughs> Sorry, Dante the covers, yeah. Um, I haven't played Chaos in a while, but I think maybe his next next chance ladder I might go. Oh, I can get Griff here, can't I? No, I can't. Zug. Zara. What's, what's he got? He's got... No dodge. Two dodges. But no blodge. A strength fall. He's 628. So... I'm tempted just to go... Just to go with uh, Zug and take him down to Pound Town. Could be a good idea. Because the wizard isn't that good against elves, is it, really? Just beat the shit out with Zug. Zug's so good, isn't he? Just smashing people with mighty blow every turn. Could go wizard and bribe. Could go Zara. Zara's pretty good strength for blood, isn't it? Take him down to Pound Town. Alright, I'm gonna go Zug. <laughs> well, so Forge BB. It's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, this has absolutely got to be. I mean, Pro Elves are shit, aren't they? Let's be honest. They've got nothing. They haven't even got block. And they're pretty crap. I think. As far as... Uh, as far as... Supposed Tier 1 teams go, Pro Elves are pretty much the worst. Like, obviously... If they've got a really good coach... It's not going to be easy. But... Um, their Armour 7... Without the power of wood elves, or really the power of Skaven either, so I'm always pretty confident of beating Pro Elves. Because even if people are good coaches, you can still just randomly murder the fuck out of them, can't you? Well, I've only got 11 players, though. Lemon is good, that's the thing, so I can't foul at all, can I? Well, haha, <laughs> Will King. No one... Talking about tears is a thing. So, you know, um, according to the BBRC, which according to Dode is the only thing that matters, which they dictated... The tier one teams are win for between forty five and fifty five percent of their matches over their entire lifetime. Means that pro elves and high elves are both tier one. If you go with the NAF stats, which is just tabletop with six skills or whatever, then they classify pro elves and high elves both as tier two. So you know. Yeah, so I, would, I, the fact, I think Zug's good because it gives me a reserve, doesn't it? That's the thing. It takes an armor 7 shitter off the field for an armor 9 monster, which seems pretty good. Um,
Well, <laughs> you can't really call the BBRC wrong, seeing as they were, you know, that was what they used when they were making the teams and everything. So you can't outright call them wrong. However, you can say that um, total win percentage over the lifetime, being between 45 and 55, is so fucking, so, such a large, uh, you know, it covers such a large range that there's no real point in having it. Hello, Morgans. <laughs> He's so good for me, you book guy. <laughs> yeah, he's strength five. He's he is good. He is good. I mean, you always want somebody that isn't a um, that isn't a shithead peasant, don't you? And obviously, mighty blow against armor seven dudes. It's got to be good. Cards. Get banged on. Oh, this, he's exposed the strength four guy. I just go for him with a wrestle, seeing as he's got both. Frenzy, does he? But still, I don't want to get sandwiched on the sideline. Didn't mean to go quite so far up. Can reroll it next time. Yeah, mighty blow block is the one that didn't get an AV break. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly, Will King, exactly. Um, nah, nah, Mile, nah. According to, according to, according to the BBRC, pretty much every team is tier one. You know. It's it's just really it's really hard to it's really hard to define them, you know, like because obviously chaos are terrible. Yeah, exactly. Exactly it is insane, exactly that makes sense. Yeah, it's just lost. If you don't take the, if you don't take, it's just lost. Um. Yeah, just lost, Kurgol. You've got to um. Yeah, they can't forsake double rolls. It's just um. Well, I mean, they can forsake double rolls, but yeah, it's not like. In the European, in the Europa, they they should be able to, but it's hard to do it. So <laughs> there you go, Zug doing something. Now, yeah. oh, he's got a guy exposed. Oh, be double GFI here. I've got a blitz in. Have a nice fucking guard. I'm a seven guard, has to be get blitzed. Might as well hit with wrestle since I can't knock him over anyway. Can't knock him over if I roll it, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say here. Strength five can get based up. You can go there. Keep 
these guys. Put in front. Punch him into next week. Thank you for giving me your armor seven guarder there to punch for free. Don't mind if I do. Um, right, go for a pickup. kind of get a one dice but he is a journeyman there you go there oh it's kind of hard for him to run around and get, get in there isn't it birds birds fucking people up right Yes, the, the NAFA fascial is sanctioned by the official NAF, yeah. They don't need, you shouldn't shill yet, Crumsley. Um, you shouldn't shill yet. Because what, 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 what I'm going to do is, you know, when I get back to England on the 14th, um, shit, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set up the Discord and everything and, or add the channels to the affair. I don't know if the NAF has a Discord already. Just really going to sort it all out. <laughs> because Ireland says it, I just couldn't get a game, and I thought, you know, I, I looked for like 10 minutes and didn't get a game, so I thought I'd just play Enchanted Ladder. Um, just for, just for Brett, isn't it? Um, but yeah, like it's it's just a bit crap at the moment, and I guess I could just do it. I could just not stream Monday, but then if I'm not streaming, I want to spend the time with Senai. So I guess I could Thursday. I could do stuff. I guess I could do stuff Thursday. She's at work Thursday, so I could do stuff to pertaining to the nap on Thursday. So, but then I'd have to not stream. So it's. Uh, I think the best thing to do is is just stream a combination of NAF and Chalice Ladder for the rest of the week. Mostly NAF if I can, you know. NAF being the preferred thing. And then, um, it is, it's not a Jimmy guarantee, it's a real guarantee. Um, <laughs> I'm alright, Pedro Jack, crazy stuff, but, um, Oh dear, Jelly. Someone did that. Oh, fuck. Forgot about the, uh, forgot about the, uh, fumble. Speaking of NAF tournaments, there's one going on on fumble, isn't there? Alright, we're one point behind in second. Malmia lost 2-1. I'm surprised he hasn't conceded already, to be honest. Getting, getting two guys cast in the first two turns. Uh, blitz this guy, block this guy. Mm, cage up around here, I guess, seems to be the uh, thing, doesn't it? This safe moves first. Fash would be so proud. Boo. Oh, 
fuck, I can't even hit him now. Just got a one dice. So. Howdy, howdy. look earlier dead sound there's a few people who who, who will periodically check and um, but i'll have a look after this game if no one else has it's a shame that there's no um that there's no like pming in blood bowl 2 because it would be really good to just pm people and say this is what you haven't done <laughs> you know but instead you've just got to fucking deny people and you know it's a bit crap isn't it I hope to base base base. It's one of the best. There. Yeah, the Brett Blocker punch is pretty good. The high elf punch is awesome. Um, we've got the ball base and it's in. <laughs> well, all the shit, all the time. Yeah, so I we can say if if your team has been rejected, you can ask about it on the on the on the NAF Discord and stuff like that. You know, once once the NAF Discord's up, but yeah, yeah, I'll I'll get it I'll get it also. And then what I'll do is as well. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. What I was thinking, Kurgo. Yeah, and then um, yeah, applications channel. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nozda. <laughs> I don't even know if the NAF for Discord exists, so... But, yeah, exactly, they've got, they've got many, they've got nine block on nine block slash wrestle on this team. It's really not achieving anything. Well, what he has achieved as he's got his catcher three dice blocked by Mighty Blow is what he's achieved with his ball basing. Um... Not sure he's gaining much by that. Or I could block I don't want to block the ball carrier because he's got a wrestle. So No, he's just he's just got that catcher three dice by mighty blows. What he's achieved. Yeah. Yeah, we sit up and Mike and admin, yeah, that seems fair. I'll ask him. I'll ask him just now, actually, because yeah, that's something I can do while I'm playing a game of Blood Ball, isn't it? So, um. There isn't one. All right, so he hasn't given away the mighty blow guy because he is the mighty blow guy. So he's just gonna blitz there. And power this guy. Oh, I should've moved this guy first, but never mind. Um, Right, 
Not not really ideal. This, but never mind. Distracted. Um, sorting that out. Um. Yeah, I gotta go for this strength four guy again. Then, haven't I? Zug. Zug reckon people. Yeah, there was no screen to one side. I could have really pushed forward a lot further than I did, but um, I'd made the mistake of not clearing out the path for him first. And plus he was dodged, so there was a risk of just pushing him. So I'd have had to cage right over here. And I wouldn't really want to get that far forward at the expense of not being able to move either direction. So this was a bit shit giving up this block here. Good ones, well, flourish here. Um, you can get the, uh, there's blue lancers. Lunatics make blue explosive spears. And to be honest, they hit, they fit the aesthetic more than the, um, more than the, uh, more than the lancelots anyway, so. Blue spears, you can have a decent, a decent vehicle of blue spears and, uh, and then like, you know, a, couple of blue drills but I mean it's you know the lancers because they're one point of energy the lancers or the explosive spears because they're one point of energy they are very uh, very expensive really and they're an expensive build ah yeah the sword the the hatchets yeah yeah they, they only do like ramming damage yeah they're, they're rare you need rares to do it like anything really. The melee build is is an expensive build, to be honest. Well he's he's down two guys and he's got two guys the wrong side, hasn't he? And if he follows here, he has pushed him there, so he's just given away another block. So he's just freed up a guy really. He's used two players to free one of mine, so yeah, he didn't even base. Unbelievable. Hook dirt. Base, base, base. Gotta watch out for the... There's only one blitzer as well, isn't there? Because he's got the miss next game, so... No blodge is the dream, isn't it? It's, it's not good that he's got these skill-ups... Like, around his team, isn't it? He'd be much better off with, like, a blodge catcher and two wrestle ones and a blodge blitzer instead of a dodge line on stuff like that and blitz this guy or oh, this guy is defenseless well not defenseless doesn't have dodge he actually is same defenseless but he's he's a catcher instead of a shit line you know? push means we can go through so take the furthest away guy and the guy who has to move the furthest to hit base him and then he's he's based here as well isn't he so I think basing him there is okay there one two three four five six not here The dreaded YouTube cage. So 
So he could he could go in there to defend Zug. He could go there to try and keep these two away. Or he could go there to uh, stop the, this kind of shenanigans happening. I guess just getting fought. But then these are all going to slam in. Whereas if he goes here, I guess the movement eight anyway. He's one. He's movement eight. Got three turns left, so I guess make it a bit. Nine man cave is the best. This is good because these two kind of tie up these three, don't they? Yeah, roll, roll pretty good to be fair. Pretty, pretty good dice roll so far this game. Pretty good. <laughs> two casas <laughs> and uh, knock down plenty. Stun plenty. To be fair, he's made he's made a few stuns, but like, he hasn't removed anyone. It's bad because he fireballs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I've got to watch out for the fireball here. Uh, pretty, pretty doing, doing well in games of Blood Bowl, His Majesty Melancholy. But feel pretty, pretty ill. But the Blood Bowl's making me feel better, unbelievably. Randor GFI here. Isn't penalised for it. Another Randor one. And they've done their job a bit, haven't they, there, with that guy there has stopped him getting round this turn. Nah, and there's no greed handoff at all. Although, it would, you know, that's the second half, isn't it? The second half, this guy can try and get a handoff of this guy or whatever. But not first half, not when the game, not when the result of the game is in doubt. There's no, uh, against elves, there's no, there's, you know, there's, that's, that's really a recipe for disaster. Obviously, he's, he's massively exposed this this area here. He's going to get blitzed and cage up around here. You can put him there, I guess. Then I just blitz him and then cage around here. And he loves the GFIs. He's seen Kanal's videos. He wants to he wants to L screen correctly. Go for the hand. <laughs> wow, that was a wild three plus dodge. He wants to roar. Okay, first, most important thing is the cage. Where is it? Over here, I think. Safe moves first. Unbelievable trade. Hit the block guy with wrestle. Always something I enjoy doing. Seems okay, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he loves on the screen in one side, yeah. More GFIs than Sean. <laughs> Sean, he fun in every song. <laughs> yeah, the, the peasant, the sound of the breath is amazing. The animations are pretty good. Particularly the punch. And I, I, I always like breaths in Warhammer. Ballsy opening move. It's high risk, as Andy Taylor would say. It's high risk. Ideally, he'll make loads of GFIs and just screen over here. And then next turn can go here. My favourite race in Warhammer is... It's probably high elves. They're the they're the they're the army that I've uh, that I've played like actually played with the most. Um, I did have a, a Bretonian army, but I didn't use it that much. But I did like it, and I wanted to use it more than I did. I had a beast man, <laughs> a beast man allied with chaos. No, it was <laughs> this is brilliant. I actually had a chaos army for for. Warhammer, which was the Chaos Army was like a fucking, some kind of lord, was it a sorcerer? I think it was a sorcerer and then like two units of uh, they were marauders, the marauder horsemen two units of five marauder horsemen and a it must have, it was some kind of wizard, I think it was a wizard and then they were allied with beasts of chaos and then the beasts of chaos so I just had, then I had hordes of beast men as my allies. It was a pretty, pretty funny army. It was ridiculously overpowered. And uh, that won me a tournament with, with the old, uh, with the old, um, the old, uh, what's it called, Warhammer. But, um, yeah, Brett's, Brett High Elves are my favourite, definitely. They're, they're the ones that I've got the most models for and uh, have played the most games with. Loves GFIing to to elf screen correctly. That's this guy's biggest weakness, I think. <laughs> yeah, they do seem a bit dog shit and boring in Blood Bowl. Yeah, I did play forty k. Yeah, I played a lot of um, a lot of Grey Knights when they were all P, and then some necro, ne necro necrons after that but historically i played blood angels played blood angels a lot um i like tyranids but i've never really had a tyranid army right he's actually just amazingly he's made a pretty decent defense here hasn't he because i can't really go forward all I can do is um, is just kind of stay central and then hope that I can break through somewhere next turn. Um, maybe force the issue with some basing. Maybe just two dice him into another two dice. Four dice is better than three, isn't it? At the end of the day. Got him. Yeah, so do get a full cage. Um and base people. Seems alright, doesn't it? Peasant can 
<laughs> Sacrifice himself to the uh, strength ball guy. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the <laughs> right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> base with Zook. He's got a base, hasn't he? Yeah, it's safer to score this turn. Yeah, of course. But movement seven. I shouldn't take. I shouldn't take the Lord Ducky's name in vain. But yeah, of course it's safer. And look, I think this is why. You know, this is probably my weakness, in Champs Ladder, in that I don't score, early enough. I always feel like I should play properly, if you like, and score on turn eight. Because against Ducky, if I thought it was easier to score turn seven, I would definitely score on turn eight because I know he would he would score the two turner. Whereas against lower quality opposition, you can score earlier, can't you? And uh, it's not so important. But I'm just I just get in the habit of of you know playing like my opponent is is good. And if your opponent is good, you've got to score turn eight because if you score earlier than turn eight, they will score. Even two turns, even with chaos, if you give, if you give, Andy Davo two turns with chaos, he's got a very good chance to score against you, hasn't he? So, um, you know, and and Brett, uh, Ducky, even with Brett, if you give him two turns to score, he's got a good shot at scoring in two turns, and anybody with elves can roll some dice and score in two turns. You know, as you say, nerves of steel. A re roll, two re rolls, nerve of steel, agility four, movement eight. <laughs> Anybody in the world has got a shot. So, um, so yeah, Flourishia, if you give Flourishia two turns with dwarves, so that's it. So, yeah, um, yeah, Moradan, but, but that's the main thing, I think. I think the main thing is. Yeah, you know, because he, he can knock these guys. He can do. A, he can. He can actually knock everybody down here. But you know, he can do two dice that guy, one dice that guy, two dice that guy, and then the score doesn't isn't easy, is it? But I would rather play like they were good, and then maybe not score on turn eight, than treat them with. Contempt and score on turn six or whatever, just to, but I think it could be the best way, especially with with wood owls. I think it could definitely be the best way because you know, scoring isn't scoring on turn eight isn't easy, is it? So if you, if you just think to yourself, any time I can score without rolling dice, I will score. That's definitely not a bad idea in champs ladder for sure. There you go, one dice pal. Like he did have a good turn last turn. I'm not calling him. I'm not calling this guy dumb or anything, you know, or, or anybody dumb. But that's it. If they're, if you know they're really good, then you should score on turn eight. <laughs> wow, I got lucky. <laughs> right, that should make things pretty simple, then, shouldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a, a double down here isn't very good, is it? So at best a blitzer. And then a push goes to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so best to use the blitz on him. And make it three dice. No reason not to.
I mean, I really did want a three dice blitz with, with Zug. I wanted to just two dice block him and three dice blitz with Zug. But, you know, I think make sure make sure the touchdown is is the right play, isn't it? <laughs> no, no way out of it, yeah. <laughs> um, best thing to do here is set up in case of a riot, I think. Save Zug from a rock. Put the wrestle there. Wrestle there because it doesn't matter if he goes down, he's still got a dodge through there. And then wrestles here so they can be safeties. Yeah, <laughs> disrespecting my opponent one turn. I mean, he might know how to one turn, but the way he's played, I, I don't believe he does. And, uh,. Maybe it'll bite me in the ass, but I'm not really scared of his one-turning ability. Whereas if he gets a riot, he's got nerves of steel catches, so he could definitely score a two-turn, couldn't he? Yeah, when you play as you like to score as quick as possible to get the chance to score more. I mean, if you're consistently much better than your opponents, then it's not a bad idea, is it? But I think better than, it's definitely better to um, to just score without dice. Like, you know, Inarian goes for a score as early as possible. Whereas I'm not, while I'm not sure that that is a great idea against bad players, because, you know, making an extra, even though they're one in 36 to fail, um, making extra dice rolls that you don't have to make I can never really get behind that but um, scoring without rolling dice scoring whenever you can without rolling dice obviously makes your offense super reliable doesn't it it's a good idea starting line at what I call the underworld um, I don't know on hands but what you can do is you can look on YouTube and I did make a underworld team there so I don't know off the top of my head but I would definitely go you know two linemen two throwers two blitzers troll some goblins some rerolls <laughs> Well, I think, I think if you can score in two turns without rolling dice, I, I think the, the optimal way of playing with elves and being much better than your opponent, I think the optimal turn to score is the first turn you can score without rolling any dice. There you go. That's what I'm trying to be saying. Oh, I, I do like strength, though it is just on a, it is just on alignment, isn't it? But then I, I do like strength on, on elves, to be honest. Right, Zug can kind of deny the LOS here, can't he? To an extent. Knock him down, knock him down. And then we've got to bring in players to assist. So yeah, these two can go up. Yeah, I did, I did about three games with all the, the so-called new teams. But... <laughs> It, it's no longer soon TM. There is actually, actually soon I will be doing um, videos for every single race and stuff. I like peasants just because the difference between seven and eight isn't enough. I think Travica. I think if the blockers were armor nine. 
then I'd think about it. But, um... If it was nine, I'd consider it, but... Just armor eight. Like, you know, if you if you lose a peasant, it's, uh, it's not so bad. But if you lose a block, it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, pro tip, isn't it? Yeah, strength on the line elf is like the fact he's armor seven. You don't want to be in contact to use his guard anyway. Like if it was a positional, if it was a positional, you go strength without thinking about it. You know, like string position strength on positionals is amazing. Like if you think how much better this strength would be on a on a catcher, it would be ridiculous. So like strength on alignment is a bit shit in that regard, but it's still good in it. It's still. It still means you can run around and do things, whereas guard on armor seven, as you can see, <laughs> often doesn't end very well. So yeah, but it's it's the same with um, it's the same with with hobgoblins, isn't it? See, hobgoblins have that dilemma, but then you can go at least you're choosing between an armor seven guy or an armor nine guy with thick skull. So it's actually, but then they're really good. But I just think they're not tough enough to make it, um, you know, so much of a choice. All men's, let's fucking go. I'm up for this. Men's him. Even though I've muted him, I'm still going to type him all caps, all men's LOS. It's pretty good when he's lacking dodge, isn't it? So now all of his dice rolls are pretty, uh, pretty tricky. Yeah, to be honest, um, actually take plus armor on. I think you could take plus armor on a skink or a goblin. You could. Like, you actually could. An underworld goblin, you could take plus armor. Um, or even a normal goblin on a goblin team. You could take plus AV on a, on a witch elf if, like, you know... Like if you, like I don't think it's, I'm not saying that I would or that I think it's a good idea, but I think you could. And uh, I can still catch him though, kind of with a double GFI of my own, or just one GFI, so. Not if he does this though. Yeah, plus AV. Like, MA is so good on skinks, but if you've already got a good skink, if you've already got, like, let's say you've got, imagine the scenario, you've got a movement 9, sidestep, agility 4 skink, and then you roll a 10 on another skink. Giving him plus AV is fine. And then just, you know, use him as a kind of throwaway player. Yeah, dwarf linos you could give plus AV. Yeah, plus AV and a witch elf, plus AV and a warden, so. You know, you really could. Yeah, exactly, lemon is good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Either, either option isn't so bad, is it, for me? You 
he might you never know he might pass in reverse field next turn so are there any safe moves first there is this one so he goes and he GFIs to assist and then he GFIs to block so what does this guy do he'd like to He'd like to react, but I just can't afford it, can I? Ooh, this this wrestle down. But I'd rather I'd rather just assist with a peasant. So So I've got at least some cover by doing that. Oh shit, break the ducky! No, I did it too late. I did it too late. It wasn't a sincere prayer. I, for I forgot to pray to ducky. Shit. Shit. One on the GFI, then double one on the Blitz. Fucking hell. <laughs> the potato. It's too powerful, isn't it, the potato? Yeah, it should be a 2-1 grind, shouldn't it? Barring, um... Barring some crazy dice... It should be a 2-1 grind. 11 versus 9. I want... Oh, that guy in 5 wants to try and get a Kaz. This guy in 0 wants to get a Kaz if he can. No, so yeah, so I actually set up pretty well there. So There's some kind of defence against a Blitz, isn't there? I'd rather score on somebody who isn't on twelve, I guess. But then he's elves, so he can he can get he can get a dice on you. He's got catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glorious. This is a double skull, it's pretty bad, isn't it? He's got a He's got to move here first. I'm not going to roll the double skulls, so might as well go for a triple one.
There is a bench thanks to uh, thanks to Zug, so I could have made a, a foul at some point. Maybe the it was just hard though because I had to protect the ball, didn't I? I'd foul the strength four guy, I guess, or maybe the blitzer. I don't want to foul the lineman, even though he's got dodge. Maybe I shouldn't have gone all men's LOS then, should I? Maybe I should have kept somebody there. Could have blocked without block and then moved a blitzer back to assist. Which ultimately would have been a 1 in 9 instead of a 1 in 6, so probably would have been better. But then... Yeah, I guess that was, the, I guess that was wrong, actually. I didn't want to use the reroll on that, I wanted to save the reroll. But even then, it was still more likely. So yeah, I guess I should have done. Guess I misplayed that. And these pro elves, they are kind of new, new to Blood Bowl too. Anyway, with the uh, with Legendary Edition and. In my opinion, I'm a bit crap. So, so there. <laughs> It's simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> you can get surfed, can you? Not easily. Alright. Oh, yeah. For Ducky. <laughs> yes. Cheeky canoring threat. Go tag the down players, haven't you? Especially when they don't have dodge. The shit god. <laughs> ah, it's not a cheeky canoring threat. It really, it is. Uh, it is just more a uh, a beachhead into the opponent's half, isn't it? It's not. He's not really. I mean, if he. I mean, like, technically, he's a scoring threat, 
but really he's just there to get a bit far, further forward. You know, if he blitzes him, that's okay. The most boring team to play. That's a tough. That's a tough question. That's a really tough question. I guess Amazons. Because dwarves. Dwarves are the obvious choice, aren't they? Dwarves and Amazons are the obvious choice. In a way, you could argue for halflings because you're just waiting to lose. <laughs> or ogres. Ogres just waiting to lose. But because ogres are such a challenge, they're not that boring. Kenry, I guess. But then Kenry, it often devolves into you fighting for the ball. It's like you play defense two halves. <laughs> Whereas Amazons, you just, yeah. You just herb dirt base, 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 don't you? And that's it. Get the assist, then blitz with a strength ball. Solid, uh, solid strap. <laughs> Leaving himself open to a, a vicious peasant foul next turn. <laughs> you can flourish here. <laughs> you have dirt the herb dirt. He surely he's gonna defend his strength four guy from the foul, you would think so, wouldn't you? Zook foul. <laughs> nah man, Zook has to blitz, doesn't he? Yeah, he's protecting him. He fouled. Wow. What a dirty dingo. He came off better out of the wrestle. Shit. Um. Could three dice this, couldn't I? But I just didn't want him. No real, no real reason. I should have done. Not really using the players. Well, I guess I am spreading out a bit. Aren't I? Guess I want movement seven dice behind. Got to push forward next turn. Ah, uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't paint it at all. I would, I would unpaint it so that you've got a bit of camouflage. Or if you're good, but think you're, if you're good enough to want your opponents to rush towards you, then paint it all bright green because that marks you as a noob. Um. <laughs> Basically, what happens is as soon as people unlock the bright green paint, they paint it bright green. So, um, what a lot of people do is they have the cannon in front and the machine guns on top. So, like, the cannon is on frames in front and quite low. And it protects you from getting rammed a bit. And then... But yeah, the machine guns have got something. You can post it on the uh, on the exhibition, and I will have a look. But yeah, I was thinking of making something like a a level ten vehicle. I might do that. Kind of like a standard level ten thing, and then
right, let me uh, Blitz the blitz him, and then there's a route to run through, isn't there? have to make a GFI here, I guess at the end. Double GFI. Just one GFI and then risk it a bit more. That's the question, isn't it? Put him there, and then double GFI with this gun to make it safe. Going on this way, or could single GFI, but if it's a double one, it's a nightmare. I think the better play is to just get him on his feet. These fail. Sweet. What's the So I've asked Mike Davies if the uh, if the if that bot will be good enough for stuff. Wrong language, mate. Yeah. 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 Like normally, you want like. See, I think the huntsman with four. With four machine guns would be better. I don't know what your extra energy is on there, the car jack. Carjack's probably, like you see, you don't want the carjack because it's energy that isn't really doing anything. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things doing. Oh wow, he failed. What did he go for? 
Going for a six plus dodge in. All right, so <laughs> next turn comes the foul, I guess. And this turn, foul this guy over. Get a cheeky foul in. Make a foul, get a KO. Ducky strats a little bit too late, but never mind. Maybe rat and blood, nobody knows. Yeah, Huntsman Huntsman with four NGs is probably probably looking at what's gonna do you the best, to be honest. Next turn, I've got to get forward, haven't I? More, getting forward is more important than fouling this guy, but, but I'll do it an unassisted foul on him anyway. Oh, he went for the Shawnee. He failed the Shawnee. Now, seeing as this guy probably doesn't know how to do a one turn, <laughs> the score here would be. Well, it actually wouldn't because I couldn't score without rolling dice. So it's not the safest play. Can't go wrong. He can and would go wrong. I guess to be honest, it's better to. Uh, it's, this guy can't even reach the ball, and this guy can, so I've got to foul the aggressive. So he should have gone there. So I guess I shouldn't have moved in the assist for that block. Should have just screened off here and here for the two blitzers. And come for that foul. That was the better foul to go for. Rather than just fouling a strength four, but there's no reason why they can't make the foul. 
looking like a win. going to send me an example of the right format to um to upload it <laughs> yeah yeah that was bad the uh the last second prayer ducky was punished with double scores wasn't it He's got the sidestepper in to base the ball. If only there was a way to um, get rid of him 35 out of 36 times. Oh wait, there it is. Wasn't even thirty five out of thirty five out of thirty six, was it? It was twelve nine five out of twelve nine six to get to get him out of it. Pin Brad's man. Exactly Dicky, yeah, I I do race on the I uh, in a vacuum. In a vacuum, as they say in Wales. Um but I think it usually works out sidestep better on elves and stand firm better on strong players anyway. Oh, I bought him! Oh, God. Oh, no, it's okay. I wanted to buy somebody. Oh, just misclicked there. Misclicked buying him. But it means another game without an apple. Fuck's sake. Misclicked buying. Oh, well, I'll take that. Misclick buying a player would have had the apple and then could have just bought him the game after. Shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bought him by mistake. <laughs> just because I was talking about sidestep and stand firm. Ugh. But, yeah, you know, I think elves, elves can use the sidestep to not get fouled. And, like, so if you compare, let's say, who starts the sidestep. Flesh Golems compared to Pro Blitzers. I find that like the elves with sidestep want to use that sidestep to, to not get fouled and stuff. Whereas the guys with stand firm want to like just stand in the way of cages or like a tree man get multiple people to block him and stuff. So Yeah. He really is an elf blitzer, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Thanks, uh, little Blazzy wannabe a killer god. So, um, yeah, he really is an elf now, isn't he? He's an elf with block. Well, no, okay. If, if he was a, if he was a, let's say he's a dark elf blitzer. He's got dodge, dauntless, and catch. So he's actually, he's actually done all right, hasn't he? You know, he's only ten k over what he should be. As a as a dark elf blitzer, and while you would never take catch or dauntless, 
on a on a uh, Dark Elf Blitzer. It's not terrible, is it? Can't believe I bought that fucking guy by mistake. Getting the Apple would have been pretty good as when you get an Agility 4 player, wouldn't it? But never mind. Yeah, 170 k infinitely worse than a War Dancer, yeah. Well, I mean, War, war Dancers are ridiculous, though, aren't they? Like, you can't compare anything to a War Dancer. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, pretty good record for the uh, for the birds. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.